Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be talking about custom post types. So what is a custom post type and how does it work and what can you do with the custom post type? So let's get started. First of all, um, we have to understand what a custom post type is. Now, let me tell you that. So basically, if you take a look at the dashboard of the WordPress, you can see this is how it looks like. And um, when you do a normal, a fresh installation of the WordPress, and then you go and try to access the admin panel, you enter the name and the password, then you can see that this is how your WordPress dashboard will look like. Now, if you take a look, a clear look, basically what we are getting is that we're getting this post then we are getting this media, then we're getting this pages, and then we're getting this comments. So let's have a look at this. So let's have a look at this post. Now, if I just click over here, you can see that I'm taken to edits.php. Okay, and this is how it's looking. And if I just click add new, it just takes me to post dash new dot PHP. Okay, um, it's just a demo since this is a fresh installation of the WordPress. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back over here. And now if you click to the categories over here, you can see we are taken to edit dash tags and taxonomy is equals to category. And if you just go to the tags, it says uh, taxonomy is equals to post tag. So this is how it's, it's, it's look. And if on basically on just clicking all posts, it takes us to the edit.php. If you go ahead and you click media and then you click library, you can see that you are taken to upload.php. But if you go to the pages and now if you click all page, you will see that we will be taken to edit.php question mark post underscore type is equals to page. So this is basically a page that we, you can add to a WordPress website, but behind the WordPress in the database of the WordPress, basically it's being considered as the post type. It's actually being considered as the post which is actually this. So the default WordPress comes with only the post. Okay. Now page is just a variation of the post. Okay. So don't get confused. This is just for the introduction. And I, I just wanted to go to clear what happens behind you. Okay. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at our shop page. So this is how you can see that our shop page works. If you go to the post and then you click all post, you can see that we are in the edit.php, okay? And now if you go to the pages and then you click all pages, you can see that it's edit.php question mark post underscore type is equals to page. Same like this now, if you go to the products and then you click all products, you will see it will be post underscore type is equals to product. So this is basically just a post type. The default is just the post and you can create a type of the post and that's all your plugin is done. So that's basically that's advanced. Basically, we created e-commerce website and what the e-commerce website consists of. The e-commerce website consisted of products. And these are the products consist of a post type that is a product. Now, let's suppose that you want to create your own post type. That is called the custom post type. So let's have a look at what type of websites you can build using the custom post types. So let's go to the first website that we built. This is actually the website that we built as our first ever project. You can see how is it looking. Now let's suppose that um, you want to create an option for the administrator to add the projects he has built for the company. So you can see this is basically a web design agency and they build a website. They build a website to do the SEO, graphic design and the mobile application. Now let's suppose that you want to allow the administrator who is the admin of the website, he can basically add the portfolio. Basically, what are the websites that this particular company has built in the past year? So you can do it with the custom post type and what the administrator will be able to do. The administrator will be able to exactly add a lot of posts and the post will be basically a custom post type that will be either a portfolio or anything and he can just add the title of the portfolio the featured image the content and he can just publish it and then when that thing is added 
then what you can do is that you can use the Elementor and you can show all those custom post types on the main page so that if someone will click, he will be taken there. So um, now I hope that you are getting it a little bit. You don't have to get it right now fully completely, but um, when you will use it, when you will see it, you will be able to understand it much better. Same like this, I also gave you an example of the e-commerce website so that, um, let's suppose that if you want to entertain brands, you can use that custom post type. Basically, you can create a custom taxonomy for that. And we will be talking about that uh, later on when we are basically done with this full section, okay? Now let's talk about the other thing. So let's suppose that your client comes to you and he tells you that, hey man, I need a website that allows me to add properties. Basically, I don't need a blog. I don't need an e-commerce website. I don't need a basic website that consists of pages. I just want you to build something for me that can have a property option over here. And if I will just click, here will be all properties, add a new property, categories of the property. And then what I will be able to do is that I will be able to add the properties and then you want to show those properties right over here and all the properties will be um, on the front page like the blog that we built so you can see that we built this particular blog okay we built this blog and this was totally based on the post okay this was uh, not based on anything else so we built this blog and if you open up any of this you will be taken to that particular page this is how it looked like we created this and so Instead of this post, basically in the back end, there will be property, okay? And there will be a lot of more things like custom fields as well. So the administrator will be able to add a lot of fields and then those fields you can sh uh, just show them right here. So it will be very confusing to you right now if I go right now in very detail. But I hope that now you have got a basic idea of what a custom post type is. So we're gonna be keeping this video till here and let's get started with the next video where i will show you how to create your own custom post type and then we will be moving forward with it so stay tuned guys and bye bye in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to build your own custom post type so you can see that i have a fresh installation of wordpress right here and this is how my website is looking now we're going to be taking a look at how you can go and how you can build your own custom post type so let's suppose that a client comes to you and he tells you that he needs a specific website and what that website should be is that um, he want to sell properties on his website and by that he means that he want to show a catalog of all the properties that he is dealing in right now and he is maybe a real estate agent and he tells you that he wants to sell those properties or he wants to list those properties and inside each of the property there should be a contact form so that the user or the customer can contact him he just have to enter his information and then the message will be sent to the site administrator or the shop owner or the real estate owner now um, he has some concerns and he tells you that he is looking for a website um, that should be dealing in the properties in all the UAE that is United Arab Emirates and um, all the properties should be having some categories and all the properties should be also filtered with uh, the cities so um, for the city, um, if you take a look at the cities of the uh, UAE, we've got Dubai, we've got Abu Dhabi and other cities. So the person can um, basically you want to show a menu that's going to show the categories of the property. So categories of the property can be like um, bungalow, house, apartment or a room for rent or anything. OK, and same like this for the cities, there can be uh, Abu Dhabi, there can be Dubai and other cities that uh, are in the United Arab Emirates. So um, he wants that. So he wants you to build a website for that. And for each of the property, there should also be information given like um, does that property has um, four bedrooms five bedrooms does it have a parking area or 
uh, a balcony and uh, does it have swimming pools and stuff like that so he wants you to add those things and um, by those things I mean that you should be building a property section over here and inside that there should be an add new property categories property location and then all properties okay so if the person will click add new property he should be taken there and he should be able to select uh, the property category the property location that you can add in all locations along with there should also be some more information so that um, that's that how many uh, property rooms it has and stuff like that so there should be check boxes and input boxes given down below now that is what our client is looking for so now let's go ahead and let's work with by building our own custom post types so for that what you have to do you have to go to the plugins and now you have to hit add new now once you are in here all you have to do is to basically search for CPT and then you have to hit enter and you can see we've got this custom post type UI basically this is a user interface that's gonna allow you to create your own custom post type and you don't have to do pretty well any coding in the team editor so all you have to do is to click install now and now you have to hit activate. Now, once the plugin gets activated, you will see that this is right here. It says about CBD UI and you're taken right here. Now, um, if you will click add edit post type, you will be taken here and now you can create your own particular custom post type over here. So first of all, um, our client requirement is our client wants to deal uh, solely in uh, the properties. So what you have to do, you have to just type in here property and you have to hit enter and this is going to be right here now this is going to be the slug and you guys don't know about it so it's going to be actually the url so um when you will add all the properties it's it will be like property slash the post name or the property name that you will be adding so same like this if you go to the e-commerce website how does the e-commerce website work now you can see that if we go down and we take a look at any of the products so if i open up this particular product you will see that i will be taken to this particular product with this link like just like slash product so whatever type whatever you type in here if anyone will go to any single of that post he will see it to be like property slash the url of that particular property so it's gonna work like that okay then we have got the plural label so you're just gonna have to type in here properties and singular label is gonna be just the property okay like so now we've got um, this add post type you can just click over here and you can go down and add some stuff over here so we've got this menu name, all items, all movies. It's it's gonna be just like all properties, all things. So if you need anything custom, uh, you can do it. But um, I would recommend you to uh, leave it default right now. And if you wanna change it, you can just change it like that. Now here it says has archive. What, it, what this is basically gonna tell you that if this property will be having archive pages so definitely you have to just uh, set that to true because um, there should be a page that should show all the properties like you can see a shop page is basically an archive page so you have to build a page that's going to show all the properties so all you have to do is to just come here and you have to set this to true now you can basically come here and you can read those but i would recommend you to keep them as the default um, just come here to the hierarchical and just set this to true and then you can go down go down and you can just hit add post type now when you will click add post type you will see that the properties is right here and it says uh, all properties and it says add a new property so if you now go to the add new property over here and now you type in any of the property names so it's gonna be like purge Khalifa top floor okay and then you type in here anything over here and now you type here just to publish you can see it says um, property published it's live and you can just now view this property so if you will view this property you will see that it's just like this property slash Burj Khalifa top floor it's just like that and this is how it's working so if you will click now here you can see this is inside the property you can add a new property but let's suppose that you want to allow the categories as well so that the user can select that whether um, which category is it and how is it should be looking so because if you come here you can see we've got just the permalink and we've got the featured image we don't have the category right here so um, if you need the category what you have to do you have to basically go to the CPT UI again and you have to hit edit 
post type. And now you have to click edit post type over here. And this is the post type that we have created right now. Okay, you can see every setting that we have done is right here. Now you have to go down and you can select that whether it will be accepting title, editor, featured, and these are the things. If you want to allow comments on that, you can do it. If you want to allow author on that, you can do it. But I would recommend you not to just check anything. Just come here and where it says taxonomies, it says the categories. You have to just set this to yes. And now you have to hit save post type. So once you save it, you can see it's going to be right here. It says properties, all properties, add new and the categories so inside the categories now you can add a lot of categories so you can add just like bungalow home and other stuff like that and it's all going to be added here same like this if you now go to the all properties and then you click edit you can see that we have got the categories and this is the uncategorized you can add your own particular category so that was the video uh, where I showed you how to build your own custom post type. Now there is some more things that you can do, okay? What you can do is that you can change the logo, change the icon that is coming off it. So you have to go down where you see this menu icon. It says image URL or dash class name. All you have to do is to just open this in a new tab. And now you have to basically search for home, okay? And once you will set search for home, this is right here, you have to click and you can see you will be taken to home right here. This says dash icons dash admin dash home. This is basically the code that you need to copy. And now you have to come here and now you have to paste this right here. And now if you will come and you will save this post type, you will see that it will be changed to home and this is how it's looking. Now I would highly recommend you to just read it. Oh, you don't have to do anything, but just read it. If you see anything um, you, you, you are understanding, that's good. Otherwise, um, there are not a lot of things we will be using it uh, and so many of the things are mostly useless, but um, you can use it. So like, let's suppose that it says use featured image, okay? Um, now let's suppose that if you go to the properties and then you click add new, then you can see that there is actually gonna be a title that says featured image, set featured image. What you can do is that you can change those titles over here, okay? You can see it says set featured image. You can uh, just change this to set property main image and now what you can do is that you can just hit save post type and if you will come and you will refresh you will see it says set property main image so this is what you can particularly do and rename everything that is coming right here so that's all for right now congratulations on building your own custom post type right now in the next video I'm gonna show you how to add a different type of taxonomy right here. So you can see we've got categories. But um, if you take a look at our client requirements, what our client told you, our client uh, told us that he needs the property to be filtered by the categories, just like the uh, category of the property that can be a home, a house, or an apartment, or it can be a bungalow, or he wants uh, to just filter by the location of the property. So if that's in Dubai, if that's in Data, if that's in Abu Dhabi or these main locations, you can do it that way as well. So we're gonna be doing that in the next video. So stay tuned guys and bye-bye. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. So now in this video, we're gonna be talking about the taxonomies. So what a taxonomy is, we're gonna understand that first. And after that, we are done with it. I'll show you how you can go and how you can create your own taxonomy. So let's go and let's take a look at that. Now, basically, if you take a look at the core WordPress website, that consists of basically a blog. And WordPress main thing is basically uh, blogging, okay? Because it allows you to um, enter your post, and you can basically categorize them via category and you can also add the tags. So how does the category work? You guys do know about it. Like you can see, these are the categories. So if you wanna talk about any of the technology, you're gonna click over here and you're gonna see all the posts related to the technology right here. Okay, now uh, basically this category is actually called a taxonomy. Okay, and same like this, there is also called the tags and tags are also the taxonomy. Now, how do they work? Is that you can associate a category or a tags to any of the thing and then that is gonna work as an archive page. So you guys do know about the archive page as well. You can see these are the tags. So if I just go and I just open up this particular tag in a new tab, you will see that it will work like this and it says tag apple so all the poses that has the tag as apple are gonna show up here
Now, um, for the custom post type, you can add the categories and you can add the tags and you can add your own custom taxonomy. Okay, so um, we're going to be now working up with it. Now you've got a basic idea of how taxonomy works. Taxonomy is basically something that you can associate with your post and then that will work as an archive page so that a user can view all of them. Now, it's really a great thing. Now, let's just talk about our requirements. So our requirement for the properties is that the property should be having a category that's going to be like whether that property is a house is an apartment or is a room for rent or anything and then we will also be talking about the location because the person who is the administrator of the website he told us that he is looking for a website uh, specifically his business is in UAE and he wants to also categorize those particular properties via the uh, most prominent location or cities inside the UAE that's going to be Dubai or Abu Dhabi so we're going to be categorizing them that way as well so if you want to do it all you have to do is to go to the CPT UI and you have to click edit post type okay and then what you can do is that you can uh, click this edit post type you can select this and then you can go down and you can allow the tags as well and then you can add two tags the first tag is going to be the Abu Dhabi and the second tag is going to be Dubai but we're not going to be doing that we're going to be creating instead of that our own taxonomy and we're registered that taxonomy as the location of the property and we will be adding those locations so let's just see it all you have to do is to click add edit taxonomy Okay, and now you will be taken to that particular page and here you have to add the taxonomy slug. So this taxonomy slug uh, will be the location. Okay, so we're going to set location. This is going to be uh, the taxonomy slug. That's going to be the URL. And for the pl uh, plural label, it's definitely going to be the location because um, it will not have any other thing that let's uh, stack locations. It will be location and the singular uh, word is also going to be the location. So we're going to also make this as the capital first location. That's all. Okay. And now it says that on which post type you want to add this. So we're going to say that we want to add this on the properties. Okay. That's all you have to do. And now you have to hit add taxonomy. So once you will add this, you will see that our property now has a location. And now you can click over here and you can add those particular locations so if you take a look at the property right now if you click add new you will be taken to that add new page and here you will be having an option for the location and now you can add the location like that but it's coming like this it's not coming like this okay you can see this is uncategorized and you can select the particular location that you have added so if you go back to the location and now you come here and you set this to Abu Dhabi and you hit enter, it's gonna be added right here. So like this, you add Dubai, and then you click add new location. So these are right here. Now let's go ahead and let's click add new over here. Then you will see that um, still we don't get anything and you have to basically search to get that particular property to uh, location, okay? So how to make it like this so that these should be appearing as that way. Now for that, what you have to do, you have to go back to this particular page and you now have to go to the CPT UI and you have to click add edit taxonomies you have to get that particular one that we have created in the edit taxonomy and it should be right there okay this one is selected location now if you have multiple you can select those as uh, right here you can just select them now you have to go down 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 and where you see this hierarchical all you have to do is to just set this to true and then you have to go down and you have to set this to save taxonomy. Okay, and once you do that, now if you will come and you will click add new property, you will see that the um, location are coming like this and you can now set them as the hierarchy. Now how this uh, does hierarchy works is that you can create um, a category as a main category and you can also add some subcategories as well. So in Dubai, you can add uh, Dera Dubai, you can add New Dubai and these right there. Okay, so you can add these subcategories as well. So how you are gonna do that, you have to go back and you have to go to the properties location and here, let's suppose that I want to add here as a data, data to buy. Okay, and now you can just hit add new location and it's going to be a subcategory of this particular Dubai. So this is how basically it's going to work. Now let me tell you one thing that I was talking about. Now if you take a look at our e-commerce website, 
I told you that you can also integrate brands. So this is how basically the brands are integrated. You can create a taxonomy uh, inside the products. And then what you can do is that you can add those particular brands. You can also create a sub brand, but uh, mostly brands do not have sub brands. So then when you are done with it, you just have to add that and then you can create a new product and then you can add that. But we will be talking about that later on when we are fully done with the website. So that's all you can do. Now, once you are done with it, all you have to do is to go to the all properties and you have to click edit. And now you can select it to be Dubai. Okay. And you can now hit update. And now if you will come here, you will go back, you will go to the location. You can see that we've got this Dubai and you can click view over here. It says location Dubai and it's right here. Now you will get all of the properties that are located in Dubai. So this is how it's going to work. So stay tuned guys and bye bye. Hey, what's up guys? And as you guys can see that we created this location that was actually a taxonomy. And now I have added some of the locations more. So I've added Abu Dhabi and inside that I've got these right here. Then I've got Dubai and inside that, that I've got these right here as the sub locations. Same like this, I've got the Sharjah and Al Ain. Now um, we're going to be talking about the custom fields. So um, we're going to be just leaving this taxonomy to right now. And now we're going to be talking about the custom field. So what a custom field is, let me just tell it to you. So basically, if you take a look at all of the properties okay um, you can see that um, the property is right here and if you will click edit over here and then you go to the edit property you can see we have got uh, just the title of the post uh, that is the property we've got the description of the property we've got the category coming right here so I've added these categories right here and we are also getting uh, the locations right here so you can see these are the locations right here that our website has now um, what is the thing that we need to do is to add some extra stuff on over here so that that can be added to. Now, let me tell you about the e-commerce website. So if you take a look at the e-commerce website panel, so if you take a look at this right here, the products, all products, you can see this is basically the title. The description is like this. We've got the image. We've also got uh, the categories right here and the tags. Now, if you basically go down, there is information for the product itself that what is going to be the product price, what is going to be the shipping, is there any attribute and same like this, we have got the product short description and everything that we are doing over here is basically kind of coming um, and basically designed in this way. So basically, whatever the price we type in here is going to be added over here. Same like this, whatever the image we're going to be adding, whatever the stuff we're going to be adding down below here is going to be added like so. So how you can basically allow the administrator to add that particular information on his particular edit page. So that type of information can be a lot of things. Now I've made a list uh, of what are those things or what those things can be. So it can be just like the price of the property. It can be the size of the property that can be in the square feet. It can be the type that can be fully furnished, semi furnished, unfurnished, and the person will be able to select that which property is it. Same like this, he will be able to select the features that can be just like if that property has a swimming pool, Wi Fi, laundry, sauna or the balcony and same like this it can does it have basically the parking so does it have a garage or inside parking or a paid parking or it can have a parking outside the premises or there can be no parking same like this um, there can be information about the number of bedrooms and now there is a lot of things more stuff that you can add to your particular property but this is the list that I came up with just um, in approximately like 15 minutes because I had to go through the booking.com to just get the filters get the property details and what are the things that the people add same like this you can go to Airbnb com and other so many websites uh, where the properties are uh, say, uh, sold and you can just basically take a look at there uh, the property 
attributes, okay? So now we're gonna be talking about how to add these particular fields over here somewhere down below or here so that the person can just add those particular information and then that particular information will be shown when anyone will view this particular page. Um, obviously, we will be designing this page with the Elementor. We will be pulling the data from the database so you don't have to worry for that. That's our t uh, the next point. But first, we have to understand how the custom post type or and the custom fields will work. Now we have to add those particular fields. So how do you add it? First of all, you have to install a plugin. And what you have to do is to go to the plugins and then you have to hit add new. And now here you have to come and you have to search for ACF. That stands for advanced custom fields. And you will basically find this particular plugin. So you can come here and you can hit install now to install the pl this plugin. And this plugin is going to be installed. And now all you got to do is to just hit activate. So once you will hit activate, you can see it's right here. It says ACF. And now here we've got this particular custom field. So you can go and you can add one. So if you go to the field groups, you will see uh, all the groups basically that you add over here. So all you have to do is to basically click this add new. And now you have to type in the title. So we're going to be typing in the title of this particular field group. And we'll say that this is for the property details okay and now what you can do is that you can add uh, a field over here so you can say it's gonna be the price of the property okay and once you will click over here that everything will be set from here and now you can set this to a number so the person the people or the administrator will be able to add basically a number over here and um, now here you can just add instruction you can set this to a required field you can set a default value a placeholder text now placeholder text means that um, you can just add any hint over here so uh, you can just add just like if you want to add 500 as a text but it should not be a text uh, then you can add that now you will see it when you will uh, basically publish this then you will see what I mean by the placeholder so um, now here we've got the prepend. So if you want to um, add anything before the input, so you can just add it just like you can add a dollar sign over here. And now all you got to do is to just hit this add field. So this field is basically added and there's a, a, an extra field added. So we're going to basically delete this one and we're going to click over here so that this is basically just gone above here again. Now you have to basically set this that where you want to show it. So you have to basically select it on a post type and now you have to to say that I want to show it on the property that is our custom post type which is here and now what you have to do is to just hit publish so now once you hit publish now if you will come here come here to this particular page and you will refresh this page you will see that this is right here and now you are getting this particular property details and you've got this particular price and this is 500 that is coming as a background uh, a text but it's not written here so the person can know that I, okay I have to write price in here and he can select any of the price in here so you can select just like any 1250 he, he want to sell it to 1250 and now he can just hit update and now if when he will update it and now if he will come and he will refresh this page, you will see that 1250 will be written over here, uh, telling the per person who is the owner of the website that, okay, you have written 1250. So if you want to edit it, you can edit it. And this is going straight into the database of the WordPress. So you don't have to worry. And when you will be building the template that will come for each and every uh, post or the property that we have over here. Now, um, you guys have got a basic idea of how it works. Now, in the next video, we will be adding these particular ones that we've got. We've got the price, square feet, and the type, and these right here. And we will be catering checkboxes uh, and other stuff like that. And then we will be uh, building the template. So stay tuned, guys. And in the next video, we'll be doing that. Okay. So now we're going to be adding the custom fields that we have added over here. So you can see that I've got these right here. I've already added the price. So we're going to be adding the these right these ones that we have over here. So now we've got the size of the property. So you will just have to just add this field and then you have to name this as size. And when you will click outside, this will be automatically done. And now you have to just uh, select the field type. So it's going to be a number again. And now here you can also set this to required. And now you can just add the append over here and you can set this to square uh, feet. 
and now we're gonna have to basically take a look at the next field so this field is uh, basically gonna be a radio that's gonna just select the like um, if this is a type of the fully furnished or the semi furnished or this so we basically have to select a one single field and that is going to be selected and then we will show that on our template so how do we add that so um, for that what you have to do you have to basically come here and you have to click add field and this is going to be the type of the property or you can just set this to type or um, you can just come here and you can set this to property type like so and now we've got uh, if you will click outside it will be added and now you can select uh, things from just like whether you need a select option just like uh, there will be a select menu and the person can select it same like this you can also add a radio button so you can just set that so uh, we're gonna be selecting this to be a select options and now we have to add the choices so the choices that we are given is fully furnished semi furnished and unfurnished so I'm gonna go I'm gonna copy come and come up here and I'm gonna paste it and now you can see that it says enter e choices on a new line so instead of the comma I'm gonna basically get rid of this and I'm gonna just add uh, this right here I'm gonna put that uh, below here and we've got this unfurnished now you can see that we've got these right here so uh, we've got the property type done too. same like this you can set this to yes so that the person has to select the field now let's see how does that look on our product page so all you have to do is to now update it and now when you will come up here you will go to the property you will just come here and you will edit it you will see that these will be right here so the person can now select the property type and he can select whether it's a fully furnished or a semi or an unfurnished same like this you can come here and you can set it to be the radio so radio is basically all also a choices option that you can add and um, that's going to allow the user to select only one so you can also uh, allow the users to select multiple but we want to allow only one because either the property can be fully furnished or semi furnished or just unfurnished so you can also set this to radio and you have to basically add those right here again and now if you will go and you will go to the update over here and now if you will come here and you will refresh you will see that there will be radio buttons down below and the person can select whether it's a fully furnished or a semi furnished or the unfurnished so I kind of like uh, the radio one but it totally depends upon your perspective and how you like it so you can decide that now we're gonna be talking about the features so so f there are features that are multiple like uh, a property can have a swimming pool it can also have a Wi-Fi it can also have a laundry service sauna or the balcony so you can just come here and you can select it so um, you can just come here and you can type here property features and uh, the ID of that or the field name is also going to be added and now you can go down and you can set this to the checkbox so inside the checkboxes now you can add those choices that we are given uh, we are giving over here so we're gonna basically get the list we're gonna copy and we're gonna come and we're gonna paste and now you can go and you can just add it like that so we're gonna be adding these on each line like so and you can see that these are right here added and now what you can do is that you can hit update and let's see how does that look too so we're gonna come we're gonna refresh this and you will see that now we will be having the check boxes and the person can select multiple like it has a swimming pool it has a Wi-Fi it has a sauna service and a balcony too so um, you can do it uh, that way now we are gonna take a look at the next property that's gonna be the parking type so you can come here and you can set this to the parking and now you can come here and you can just set this to the radio or the select so this time we're gonna select uh, just add the select options and you can see we've got uh, the parking type for the garage inside parking paid parking and these right here so um, the person has to select a uh, one single okay so um, you just have to come here and you have to paste these in here and instead of the comma you have to just add an each new line so um, here you can see I've added this so I have to basically set this to required as well and I also have to set this to required but um, since uh, not um, every property will have these particular features so we're gonna be just not adding it uh, not keeping it to be required right now and we're gonna just keep it that way now we're gonna go and we're gonna add uh, another field and that field is gonna be for the bedroom so just like the number of bedrooms uh, this particular property has so we're gonna say bedrooms and now you can come here and you can uh, just uh, set a range over here or you can just add 
basically a number field. So a range field is also a great thing. Let me just show it to you right now. So the minimum value is gonna be one, just like a property should have a one single bedroom. And it can have approximately till 50. And the step size is gonna be one. And now you can also set this to yes. And now if you will come and you will uh, refresh this oh, page over here, you will see that you will be having a dragger right here. So you can select it like how many bedrooms it has. So you can set this to two, three or four or five. And the results so a number given here so you can just uh, select that too so now we've, we are basically done with the bedroom as well now let's go ahead and let's add uh, another one and that's gonna be the location of the property so um, you can just come here and you can set this to location and for this guy, you basically have to set this to text right here so that the person can just enter the text of the location and then we can get that location uh, via basically the Elementor map functionality. So uh, don't worry about that, we will uh, do that. So same like this, you can set this to yes over here because that's uh, the required information. Now, the last but not the least is gonna be the agent email. So the agent is going to be the person who is basically who has this particular property under himself. So you can just add that information. You can just set this to agent email. And now you now the person will have to enter the agent email who is the administrator of the website. And then you can just show that email to the pro the property page that is going to be our single page of the website. So these are the things that you have to do and now you can change this to email right here. And now you have to basically hit update. And now when you will come here and you will refresh this particular page, you will see that it will be done. So we've got the size, which can be in the square feet. You can just set this to, uh, to uh, 2500. Uh, so like this, it's going to be fully furnished. It has got a swimming pool, Wi-Fi, sauna, and a balcony. And the parking type is going to be the paid parking and it has got five bedrooms along with the location so um, you can just uh, set this to Dubai mall and then we've got the agent email so for the agent email what you can do is that you can add any email that info at agent email here dot com Okay, and you can add per particular any of the email over here. And now you also have to select this. So it's gonna be basically an apartment and you can hit update. So once you will hit update and now when you will click over here to view property, you will see it's right here in the apartments. We've got this right here and this right here, but there is nothing that is coming. So if you will click edit property, then you will be able to view all the details but the details are not available over here and the reason for that is because you have to create a template for that so we're gonna be creating a template but first let's just add uh, this particular one as well so um, I think uh, this one this Burj Khalifa is in the downtown so we've got this Burj Dubai, uh, Dura Dubai and the marina and these right here so it should be in the downtown basically it's uh, the Burj Khalifa is at uh, Sheikh bin Zayed Road uh, that comes uh, in the downtown I think so anyway we're just gonna select that and we're gonna hit update and we're gonna uncheck this one like so now we've got our fully functional this is basically done so if you even if you go to the apartments page it's going to be in the category apartments and it's like that and same like this you can even go to the locations right here you can go to the locations and you can set this to dubai and when you will view that particular location, it's going to be under that as well. So it's basically under Dubai right here coming. So um, this is right here perfectly working. This is basically an archive page. This is a single template that's going to work. So you guys do know about it. In the next video, we will be now building the template that's going to be a single page template. And we will understand how we can uh, just basically work with it. So stay tuned, guys. And bye-bye.